In this video, I'm going to show you how you can create movie titles or movie rolling credits inside of Adobe After Effects. So let's get into it. Now, in order to do this effect, you just want to first begin by going up to the horizontal type tool. Then we'll select the video and we just want to start typing out the job roles. So we'll go director, we'll go camera, operator, editor. Now I'm just going to copy and paste that in a few times. I know that's a bit lazy, but for the sake of the tutorial, it doesn't matter too much. So as you can see, this is center aligned. It's way too big and the font is probably a bit too heavy. So I'm going to select everything. We'll go to the character window. And if you're not seeing the character window in After Effects, you want to go to window and select character. Then we can change our font, but I'm going to keep this as monster because I really like that font. We're going to change the weight of this. So I'm going to go for regular or maybe even light or thin because I think that looks really nice. Then we'll scale down. And as you can see at the moment, there's a lot of separation between the lines. And that is because my line height is set to 248. So I'm just going to pull this down to a more sensible number. And that works. Now, I'm pretty happy with how that looks. But at the moment, this is center aligned and I want this to be right aligned. So you can go into paragraph. And again, if you're not seeing it, go into window. And make sure it's there but we're just going to right align this now then i'm going to turn on the proportional grid and i'm going to move this over to the center so somewhere around there now from here we want to put the titles in so the names so i'm just going to copy and paste what we already have i'll press p on the keyboard to load the position then i'm just going to left align this text and i'll move this over to the right so you can see we've got double director, double camera operator, double editor. So now you can just go through and add your names. Now, obviously this is very lazy. Make sure you're putting in all the correct information, but you get an idea on how this will look. So from here, you can now go in and make some changes to this if you wanted to. So you can make this heavier. So we'll go into character and we'll make this, let's go bold so that the names pop a little bit more. Or maybe not bold, maybe we'll go for medium. Now you can see that's looking really nice. If you wanted to swap this around and maybe have the job titles as the heavier font, we can do that as well. There you go. So at the moment we've got our list of credits, but nothing is happening. So in order to create the rolling effect, we need to create a null object and parent the text to the null and then animate to the null. Sounds complicated, but don't worry. To create the null, we'll go into layer, new, null object. Then we're going to select both of those text layers and go into parent and link. And if you're not seeing parent and link for any reason, then just hover over this top bar, right click columns and make sure parent and link is enabled. Then we'll select the box that says none and we'll select null one. Now we'll scroll to the beginning, press P on the keyboard with null selected and we'll pull the position of the null object down. And as you can see, both text layers have dropped down. And that is because these are now linked to the null. So the null is going to control the action and the animation of both of these text layers at the same time. So we'll create a brand new keyframe on the position on null. We'll go towards the end of our sequence and we'll just move the position of this up so that this animates to the top of the screen. Now, as you can see, you can keep doing this, just sliding this over to the left, or you can just start reducing the numbers. So go to zero, need to go a bit further. Let's try negative 500 quite a bit more, negative 4,000, and that has disappeared. If you wanted to make this a little bit easier for yourself and want to visualize it, then you can just zoom out. And this is where our text is going to be. So at the start, it's down here. And then at the end, it ends up just all the way up here. But when we play this back, you'll see those are our rolling credits. Now, if that is too quick for you, then all you need to do is just grab that second keyframe that we created so our end point, and we'll just move that over to the right, therefore increasing the gap between the keyframes, which is going to slow down the animation. And there we go. Now, if you've decided that the font is just a little bit too large and you want that to be a pinch smaller, you can do that as well. So if we go onto null one, we go into transform, we can pull the scale down to a much more sensible number. So let's go for this, because I think that looks nicer. But you'll notice because I've moved the scale down, it might affect the keyframes. So as you can see, with the scale set to 100, the starting point was just under the frame. 
but when it's down to 80, you can see it's dropped a little bit. So if you wanted to move that up, then you can, but just make sure you're hovering over the keyframe because if you do it here, just after the keyframe, it's going to create a new animation point and a new keyframe. So there you go, those are our rolling credits. Now, if you wanted to add in extra information, then you can do so. So let's add a title at the top saying credits. So I'll go to the T icon and we'll type out credits. Now I'm gonna make this a bit bigger, make this the title. I've missed about credits again. And then we'll just turn on the proportional grid. We'll place that in the center and make sure that we parent and link this to null one. So now when we play this back, you can see credits is now rolling with the credits. Although you can see because this is now above our previous starting point, this is now waiting to appear. This is waiting to animate. So this means we need to adjust our null object and pull the position down. And let's just double check the endpoint, make sure the endpoint is where it needs to be. I'd argue that's probably gone too far now. It's all the way up here. So I'm just going to pull that down just so it's only just off screen. And now when we play this back, you can see that is doing exactly what we want it to do. And there you go. Creating end credits inside of Adobe After Effects is actually pretty simple. If you enjoyed watching this video, then please feel free to subscribe or watch the next video up there.